word says she'll fly on the birds, the fowls of the air. Can I get a witness? How can this be? When the situation that I'm seeing, the situation that I'm feeling, this should not be. Can I get a witness? Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, here we find Mary posing a question. How can this happen? Oh, can I get a witness? I feel like preaching this morning. I just need a little bit of help every now and again. Hallelujah. We, we find ourselves more like Mary than we know. Come on in here, somebody. And we, but we're going we gonna to find the answer to this question here. I just want one more time. Look at somebody that you haven't spoken yet this morning. Even if you got to yell across the, the sanctuary. Let's say, say, how can this be? The situation that I'm in, how can this be? Well, let's take a look here. Come on in here, Luke. We find here that God sent Gabriel. That's the angel. He sent Gabriel to Nazareth. That's a little village there in Galilee. Can I get a witness? And he sent Gabriel to a virgin named Mary. Somebody say Mary. Mary. I didn't say Martha, no, I said Mary. Mary. All right. So Gabriel went to the Virgin Mary. We find here that Mary is engaged to be married. Anybody know something about that? Yeah. Engaged. You probably, that's a happy time, man. Yeah. Expecting something. Expecting the great day to come. Where I'm able to confess all my love and all my worldly possessions. Come on in here, somebody. Just trying to get you in the mind frame of where Mary, Mary's kind of at because she's engaged to a good man. Good man by the name of Joseph. Now, as the, Joseph is a good man, but there's something important about Joseph that we need to know. Joseph is a descendant of King David. Come on in here, somebody. I want you to know that your name means something. Come on in here, Holy Ghost. Uh, but that's another story for another time. How can this be? Gabriel appeared to Mary and he says to her, he, the angel says, Greetings, favored woman. Come on in here, somebody. He didn't say, Greetings, woman of fear. He didn't say, Greetings, woman of suffering. He didn't say, Greetings, woman of pain. But the word said that he says, Greetings, favored woman. How many feel like your favorite today? Come on now. Come on in here. So here he, he, he greets, he greets, uh, hallelujah, he greets Mary and says, favorite woman, I greet you. Then watch this, he says, the Lord is with you. Right. Oh, come on in here. That's enough for me just to run all around. You mean to tell me, Minister McCown, whatever that you're going through, whatever you see, that the Lord is with you. Now watch this. Mary got confused. Got disturbed. Oh, oh, oh. wait a minute now. I think a lot of us get that mirror. Yes. Holy Spirit speaks to us. Yes, Don't be afraid. Yes, I'm with you. And here we turn and start acting scared. Yes. Come in here, somebody. Yes. We get a little confused. Yes. Right, we start thinking, well, if you're with me, why am I going through what I'm going through? Can I get a witness? Yes. Can somebody be real about this thing this morning? Come on in here now. We're trying to help somebody. But the, the, the angel spoke and said, favorite woman. First of all, he's speaking into her life. He's speaking into all those doubts that she may have. He's speaking not only into her present, but he's speaking into her future. He's saying, favorite woman, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed. Mary tried to think, what is he talking about? There are many of us, the Holy Spirit has spoken in our lives. 
It could have been through your pastor. It could have been through your friend. I want you to know God uses who he chooses to use to make sure you get what you need to get. And things have been spoken over us and we just as confused. The enemy will have us all crazy up. Anything to block us from receiving what we need to receive. So she started pondering. So I'm wondering, what is he talking about? Mount Chapel, we need to rise up. The word has been with us a long time. We don't have time to be wondering anymore. Can I get a witness in here? I'm talking to myself too now. We all in this state together. We don't have time to be puzzled anymore. When the spirit speaks to us, we got to get ourselves right. Get ourselves right with God. Get ourselves positioned right so that we can act. Come on in here somebody. Mighty sweet. The angel saw that Mary was complex. So he comforted her by saying, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, Mary. That's what he told her. For you have found favor. Somebody say favor. You haven't found favor with me. You haven't found favor with your fiance, with your betrothed to be. But you have found favor with God. Come on, somebody give God a praise right there. You have found favor with God. Now he about to blow Mary man. Now she already just was scared and confused. And for some of us at the angel appeared, we won't be scared. We won't even be uh, around to be scared and confused. We'll be some way down 95. Oh, some of y'all missed that. Eh? Just wait till that. And then when you call the tip, I just say, mm-hmm. All right. So here, he tells her that you have found favor with God. But now he's getting ready to take it a step further. And that's the same thing with some of us. He's going to take us a step further. But we got to be ready. Watch this now. He begins to tell her, you will conceive and give birth to a son. Now I can only imagine Mary probably looking at the angel. Come on in here. Where my Mary's at? You will conceive and give birth to a son and you will now watch, see what the word says? It doesn't say, it's not asking. Come on in here, somebody. I want you to get this thing now. It's not asking. It's not suggesting. Come on in here, somebody. But it says, you will name him Jesus. Now, let me tell you why you're going to name him Jesus, Mary. He will be very great. And he will be called the Son of of the Most High. Can I get a witness with a witness? Yeah. The Lord God will give him the throne. Come on in here somebody. The Lord is going to give him the throne of his ancestor David. Yeah. Don't you know you got some things because of your ancestors? Yeah. 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 And we walking around here living and breathing thinking because it, it just so. You, you, you're favored because of some things God already had set up, already predestined. Here he said to Mary, you will name him Jesus. He will be called the son of the most high. And the Lord is going to give him the throne of his ancestor, David. Now watch this. And he will, somebody say he will. He will reign over Israel, not today, not tomorrow, not just yesterday, not next month, not next year, but forever. And his kingdom will never end. Now I know Mary good and crazy now. Mary asked the angel, and we getting ready to go home, y'all. Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? Come on in here, somebody. How can this happen? I 
hear what you're telling me, angel. All that sounds so good, it even make me feel a little good. But you see, there's something you don't know about me. See, I hear what you're saying. I hear what the word is saying. But there's some things that you don't really know about me. See, what you don't know, angel. See, I'm a virgin. And you know, I'm a virgin. And so if I'm a virgin, I hear all what you're saying. But you tell me how I'm supposed to give birth. Now, now, hey. I mean, there might be some things that I don't know. But I know a little bit about that. Now, for that to happen, come on in here, somebody. We about to go home. Come on and wake up, my child. We'll make sure you get this thing here. Now, she, she said, but how can this be? I am a virgin. Now, see, what are you saying, Pastor Cummins? What are you trying? Here's what I want you to understand. Come on in here, fellas. Some of us, come on here now. We are only stuck in our situation. Come on in here. We can't get past our situation to see our blessing. The Lord has started speaking blessings over your life, but your response is started, how can this be? I don't have the money to do that. Come on in here, somebody. Come on in here. There's some people that's in here right now. It was spoken over your life and you knew you didn't have the finance for it to happen. But you fed, you trusted, you put your faith in the Lord God Almighty. And now you own your own business. Come on in here, somebody. How can this be? Lord, I hear what you're saying, but there's something you don't know about me. See, I'm sick in the body, and I'm not going to be able to do what you're telling me to do. Come on in here, somebody. We're stuck in our situation. Is there anybody who's willing to pray? Because if you can reach beyond the break, if you can reach beyond your situation, there's a word from the Lord that's going to blow your mind. Hallelujah, somebody. What are you talking about? Come on in here. I feel all right. What are you talking about, Pastor? Well, see, when Mary said, I'm a virgin, and she was trying to put all her situation, she was trying to make every excuse that she could. But look at what the angel said. Somebody say the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Come on in here. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And so the baby will be born. The baby will be whole. Somebody say, hold it, and he will be called the son of God. What's more, your relative Elizabeth, your cousin that you go and talk to all the time, she's going to become pregnant too. I know she old, but just watch the glory of God. Can I get a witness in here? People used to say that she was barren, but the Lord is going to move. The Lord is going to move, and she's going to conceive. Here's the answer. When Mary was working, how could this be? How could this be? How could this be? The answer is, there is nothing, there is nothing too hard for our God. There's nothing, nothing impossible for our God. You think, you think your vision is dead. You think what was promised to you is not going to happen. But hallelujah, hallelujah, how can this be? How can this be? By the grace, 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 the grace of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mary! 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 Go ahead and have your little baby. God already got it right up. How many Marys in the house today? You might not have a baby, but whatever God has spoken into your life, all you gotta do is reach. Somebody say reach. 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 Beyond the break, and the impossible will be made possible. Somebody see it. Somebody see it. If you won't, if you won't, your blessing. Somebody see it. Yeah. 
But you got to trust and take God at his word. You can't be right here with a pity party all the time. I feel like I just got to stir up this whole thing myself. So I don't know why I feel like this, but I just want you to know. I know there's some others in here who know exactly what I'm talking about. See, the enemy don't want you to stand and give reverence. The enemy don't want you to be the example. He want to hold you still right there where you at. And this world ain't doing nothing but eat you up, but you still hold still ready. But when you stir up the gift that's on the inside of you, when you can be a witness to somebody else, that's how it works. Stop being silent. Stop being still on what God has given to you. Can I just get one or two to help me lift up the name of Jesus in this place? Look how the Lord worked it out. 
See, he was also sick. Come on. He sent a messenger to, to Joseph. And he told Joseph, listen, Joseph. Now, this is going to be a hard pill for you to swap. I know you ain't been with her yet. And she ain't been with nobody either. But she's going to have a baby. Now, you know what they, I don't know about the rest of y'all. But when he was talking, I would have been packing up my things right there. But you and Mary can go ahead and have y'all baby. Because I'm out of here. But let me tell you how the Lord works. He doesn't think of how we think. He stirred up inside of Joseph. And Joseph was a good man. So he didn't want to bring shame to Mary. That lets you know that Joseph believed what the messenger told him. But he didn't want to bring shame to Mary. So he decided to do it discreetly. But somebody said, Jesus, Jesus, Mary, baby boy, had to come forth. The Lord worked it out. She had the baby. God is able. If you hurt and break it, God is able. I want you to know God is able. If you're hungry, God is able. If you're troubled in mind, God is able. Can I get a witness that know God is able? Whatever you're dealing with, God is able. We already got ours up. Blowing up the snowman. Oh, we celebrating Christmas. Uh-huh. But we can't forget the reason for it all. None of this would have been possible if Mary, come on in here. Come on in here. Mary wanted to know how could this be? But when she was able to accept and receive what God had designed for her life, all the rest is history. Don't you know that you and I are here today because Mary was able to receive God's word? Men, I know we are males, but we still, we got a married mindset. We get the same way. How can this be? And then instead of accepting God's word, we go and try to figure things out, work things out ourselves. Some of us, we go borrow money. Don't get quiet, it's all right. You ain't the only one did it before. Go borrow money and get in debt. Everybody smiling. That you giving the gifts to. And then you be in the car crying. You got to leave the dinner early. Because you can't celebrate because you all hurt up. But all you had to do was accept what God word already had planned from the beginning. And you ain't had to go and borrow no money. If you ain't got nothing to give, you do got something on the inside. Tell them Merry Christmas, God loves you. And go fix you and play with collard greens and enjoy your holiday. Some of us running from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor. Now we know the word doesn't go to the doctor. But there's one doctor that you need to make sure you seek. So he can set up the plan to send you to the right physical doctor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I don't go to him. Mm, he don't do no good for me. But if God said that who you need to go to, then that who you need to go to. Come on in here, somebody. What's 
seem impossible for Mary. And that's the point. That's really the point. What's impossible for you? We all have something that we're dealing with. It's one thing to come to service, and it's good to come to service. But we need some healing going on. We need some deliverance going on. We got to stop bringing, because you know what happens, see, when you bring a burden and you take it back, it doubles up on, come on in there, Holy Ghost. I wish I had some witness in here. I know what I'm talking about this morning. And I know some of y'all that have been through this show. And if you don't be real about it, it's going to keep burning you up. When you don't get that stuff dealt with and you take it back, all it does is double up. And it might leave your presence for a little while. But because it was not dealt with properly, it comes back up now. Mary, she did pose the question. But she dealt with it properly. How do you know, Pastor? Because she said, let it happen to me. If God says so, let it happen. If I got to go through some financial difficulty to get my blessing, if God says so, let it happen. If I got to go through a little heartache and pain every now and again, seeing when I keep getting hurt, but if God says so, let it happen. If I got to be hospitalized just for a while, just for a season, if I got a little illness going on, if God says so, let it be so, because at the end of it, when I'm able to press my way and make it through and see myself beyond the situation, oh, what a blessing is waiting for me. All we got to do is tell God, yes. Come on and lift those hands back where you are. All you got to do is tell God, yes. Whatever you have for me, God, I'll say yes. I'll say yes, God, to your spirit, to your will and your way. Come on, God. When your spirit does what, y'all? When your spirit speaks to me with my not half a heart, but with what? With my whole heart. I will do what, everybody? I will agree. And my Your feet, the doors of the church stand.